Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thanks for joining my live stream uh, concert this afternoon uh, in dedication to Carrie Kitts. Um, I want to play about 15 minutes just to kind of get into a little flow of things and then share a little bit about her now for a few minutes, and then I will go into a, a number of different styles. I'll just let my, uh, my improvisational... Um, uh, freedom just let uh, let me go where where the spirit takes me um i i want to introduce you though to uh, carrie kitts and uh she is a lady that uh, i've known for about a year a little more than a year now and uh she has a very serious disorder uh it it, it struck her about four years ago and it has changed this lady from being uh full of life and really being able to uh, handle uh, a, a, a very, very wide diversity of uh, responsibilities. She has two children and, and just uh, a, a really, really good friend to many, many people. But this illness, an autoimmune disorder, it's uh, granulomatosis with polyangiitis is the name of it. It's GPA for short. And it's a vasculitis um, illness that attacks uh, the blood vessels. And um, so Carrie has been dealing with this disorder for four years now, and COVID and uh, long COVID uh, exacerbated the, uh, the, uh, the damage that this disorder was doing to her body. And then uh, she was on a lot of uh, very powerful medicines and chemotherapies and some very, very uh, strong uh, uh, steroids um, to try to keep her immune system at bay. But Carrie was, uh, man, she was, she was struggling last year when I met her uh, back in March. And uh, over a couple months as I got to know her, um, I, I tried to help her. I supported her some to give her some time off from work because she had gotten to a point where her illness had given her such a disability that the only job that she could really do is to do a, a delivery driver um, role. And she, so she was working for DoorDash. Um, but as many of you know, I mean, if you have a household with two kids and, a, and, and everything and you're used to a, a fairly large income and all of a sudden it gets cut in a third or more, that's a really difficult thing to deal with. And then on top of it, uh, her health situation just went from bad to worse to, to very horrible at some points in time. Um, she had a very, very bad rash. Um, it's COVID rash and it covered her entire body and it, it, it was there for nine months around uh, the first part of 2022. And so she's had COVID damage uh, her, her uh, ability to heal from this illness as well. And it, it, it drew her into even a more serious um, uh, mode of inflammation that the doctors had to work on. Um, and at the end of the day, OHSU was able to stabilize Carrie. And she is now in remission uh, in, in, as far as GPA is concerned. She's gotten her inflama inflammatory markers stable. But now the next step is OHSU has got a plan to bring back some of the function that Carrie has lost in her, in her mouth, in her nasal cavities. And if you read my, uh, if you go ahead and look at the, the, the GoFundMe link, uh, we describe it in quite a bit of detail. And we have some pictures there as well. And so you can read up a little bit more on the detail of what the damage that was done. But OHSU has got uh, incredible specialists, and they have uh, planned to put five surgeries back to back to put, put her back into being able to have fairly good function as it relates to eating and breathing and also speaking. Because uh, she's also lost her voice and her ability to articulate uh, words and so forth as well as, as so people can hear, hear her clearly. So that's why she originally she had many jobs that she was a, a good communicator. But then as this illness took over more and more of her mouth and her nasal cavities, uh, she became less and less able to be able to be that articulate person that she's always been.
So uh, OHSU is going to create uh, a whole slew of uh, of of um, <laughs> they're going to use the tissues from her mouth and from her tongue to actually reconstruct the soft palate of her mouth and create the structures so that her mouth is 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 whole and so she can breathe through her mouth she can eat well and so forth and then the next step is they're going to build a soft palate for her and that's going to take she's going to take they're going to take um, layers off the cheeks and inside the mouth and they're going to create a soft palate so when Carrie gets done with the surgeries she'll be able to eat like we do so when we swallow food it goes down our uh, our esophagus we get down into our stomach and the pressure of our tongue pushing it down goes straight and the and the soft palate does not let the food go into the nasal cavity well with carry uh, there's no nasal cavity uh, that, that actually closes. There's no flap that closes, so the food goes right into her nasal passages. And so the damage that you, if you see her picture, a lot of that was food that got decayed up in the, the nasal passages. So she's had a really challenging multiple years. But now we have an opportunity to help her get through these surgeries and recover a lot of the function that she had before GPA struck her down. Uh, she's got two little boys, six and nine. They're just fabulous kids. She's a wonderful mom. And um, so I, 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 uh, one of the things that I do in my role besides play music and I love going walking in my neighborhood as most of the people my neighbors know, <laughs> um, I love walking and meditating and spending time with God. But then the other third thing that I do is I'm a philanthropist. I love helping people. I just feel that's kind of the great call is to to love our neighbors ourselves. And so when I get engaged in certain people that have challenges that I really resonate with, I know I'm supposed to be involved. And so I've been helping Carrie for the last year, and it's just been a fantastic friendship that we've developed. I've I've gotten so much out of that as well and uh, so I I now realize that as we go into this next year I need more support from folks who want to uh, that, that, that are sympathetic to Carrie's cause as a young mom a single uh, single mom that middle-aged she's 44 and and she right now is at the verge of catastrophe financially and every other way. And so the big challenge is we need to get her some time not to have to work so she can recover from these surgeries, which are very serious surgeries. And, and so the, the whole GoFundMe is to try to give Carrie a cushion so that she can recover and get back to the, 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 the capabilities and the person and the value that she delivered before GPA, or as close to it as we can get. Anyway, um, so I really appreciate you coming and listening to the concert today, and I also have one on Sunday at 4 o'clock, and uh, I may actually have Carrie here at 4 o'clock on Sunday. We'll see whether that works. Today she's, <laughs> she's out working DoorDash because she's trying to make um, income before she starts into her surgeries at the end of the month of April. So she's got only another week or two, and uh, I would love to raise enough money that she will feel comfortable going into those surgeries and know that her house won't be foreclosed on or, uh, you know, or a car repossessed. So many different things that could happen. So thank you so much for your participation, for being interested in the concert and interested in her story. And as we have these concerts, we'll probably share more and more. Right now, I'm going to go back into my music, and uh, I just am, want to give you a deeply meditative experience that you can go into your consciousness and just let go and, um, and just listen to the sound frequencies that are generated. Thanks so much for attending today, and I really appreciate your uh, consideration.
All right. Excuse me. All right. Um, I decided to end it on a quiet note and uh, kind of have a more of a passive Friday evening. Um, but thank you all for uh, listening through this. Um, I was a little rusty today, I think, because I was out talking to so many people and I got back in and I was uh, really enjoying meeting people today and talking about Carrie with some of my neighbors and so forth. And it was just a beautiful day in Vancouver. I hope you had a wonderful day as well and uh, that you feel close to the one who is all uh, and, that, uh, and that tomorrow is a beautiful day uh, in this amazing paradise that we get to live in. Uh, thanks so much for taking time and for your consideration of Carrie as well. I deeply appreciate it and have a very good night. Thanks again. And if you want to come on Sunday, it'll, there's another concert. It's 4 o'clock. And I'll probably be a little bit better prepared because I will have already done one of these now and I'll know what it's like. <laughs> so thanks so much, guys, and good night.